So we're finally back for the 2022 March for the Babies after a three-year hiatus uh, because of Daniel Andrews. I'm here with the leader of the March for the Babies, uh, Victorian MLC and now state leader of the Democratic Labor Party, Bernie Finn. It's good to be back finally. It is great to be back, I've got to say that to you, and uh, looking forward to, uh, as always happens, uh, huge numbers coming over the hill in about, about half an hour's time. Yes, it's already a fantastic crowd. Uh, now, when I interviewed you back in 2019 uh, for uh, for the mar before the March for the Babies, you had uh, uh, black hair, and I can only assume that being in the the state senate uh, during the the COVID lockdowns, uh, opposite Dan's goons who were f uh, keep keeping us all to our homes, obviously had an effect on on you. Well, being a Victorian over the last three years has had an effect on a lot of people and it's been very, very difficult uh, uh, for us all. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's, there's no doubt that um, that will have a big impact on the election next month. I'm hopeful that uh, a lot of people will remember um, the fact that we were locked in our homes, that, uh, you know, we were by, by law we were not allowed to uh, leave our homes except for an hour a day and that was to walk around the block. Uh, and I'm very hopeful that, uh, that people will remember that uh, uh, come November, or come come next month. It's not November anymore, it's next month uh, that we're talking about uh, the election. Yes, I certainly remember the horrific uh, times, Dan Andrews hectoring, lecturing, press conferences. It was it, it, it a time that I, I will, will never forget. Now, a, you are na now with the, the Democratic Labor Party. Mm. It's a bit of a back to the future for you because that's where you started in politics in between 40 years of loyal service to the Victorian Liberal Party who uh, the party room, state party room, decided that they didn't like your pro-life views anymore. Yeah, well look, uh, I, uh, I think there was a lot more involved in that. I think there were people who were playing politics but the, the fact of the matter is that the Liberal Party made it very clear uh, they didn't want pro-lifers, uh, and um, you know that's very sad, particularly given the uh, the fact that uh, that Daniel Andrews is uh, the, the worst case of a, a pro-abortion uh, premier this state's ever had. Uh, and uh, you know we the, the Liberal Party off offers no great alternative. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be in the DLP, uh, a, a party which is um, uh, quite 100%. Uh, pro-life uh, and there's some of our friends above us um, but uh, you know I, I'm very I'm very proud to be in the DLP and look forward to representing the DLP um, uh, continuing to represent the DLP in the next parliament. And a uh, interesting fact is that the uh, Democratic Labor Party is actually legally the official Labor Party. That, that's exactly right the Victorian uh, Supreme Court uh, uh, declared it the, um, the official uh, Victorian branch of the ALP uh, many years ago, and uh, I'm not exactly sure how uh, the Labor Party or the, the ALP got away with with, with with claiming the official title, but in fact the DLP is quite legally, uh, as you say, the, the, the official ALP in Victoria. And even though the party room uh, removed you from the, the, the Liberal Party, uh, the party membership, they did uh, select a wonderful uh, pro-life woman uh, in your old pre-selected spot in the Western Metro region, Moira uh, Deeming, and uh, so certainly the, the party uh, base, they had the final say. Well I think that was the reason that they, the, uh, that Matthew Guy and some of his mates uh, did what they did, because they knew that that was the only way that they could get rid of me. Uh, they knew that I would have been pre-selected and they knew that I would have been back in the parliament and they, they wanted to get rid of me. Uh, you know, Matthew Guy says he, he doesn't mind people being pro-life as long as they keep it quiet. You know, it's, it's just it's just nonsensical. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, um, that's Matthew's uh, decision. That's something he has to live with and bad luck. Well, it's, it's going to be very good to uh, get back and be actually out on the street to, yeah. to campaign for life because that's what makes the politicians pay attention the most, people on the street. Absolutely, and, and I'm hoping that we'll get a, a huge crowd here today. Uh, you know, they're starting to, to rock up now and uh, I think that uh, within, uh, within about uh, three quarters of an hour there'll be a very big crowd uh, uh, gathered here and look forward to leading them through the streets uh, yet again to let people know 
uh, that we are not going to go away, that what is happening in the state is criminal, quite literally criminal, uh, and the, the destruction of children, uh, ripping children to pieces in abortion clinics, is something that cannot and will not be tolerated by average Victorians. Uh, it's horrific, and mm. if people actually knew what went on behind those uh, closed clinic doors, they'd be horrified. Oh, they, they would be, they should be horrified. Uh, it is, uh, I mean, to, to think that there are places, we now have places in Victoria, not just Victoria, but, but certainly in Victoria, that have been built, that are maintained specifically for the purpose of killing babies. Um, I, I just can't get my head around that. It's, um, it's beyond me and there are people who get up every day and put on their suit and tie or put on their, their, their dress and, uh, and go and kill babies for the day. Um, I, I, I just can't cope with that either. Um, how does, how does anybody live with themselves uh, who, who does that? But uh, unfortunately, there are a number of people who get very, very rich. Of course, it's, it's big business. Killing babies is big business. Uh, and uh, they, um, they, they embrace that. Uh, and and um, uh, I suppose the human mind can rationalise everything, but I, I really have enormous difficulty trying to understand how they rationalise that. And um, just to remind our audience, uh, who was the Health Minister in 2008 who spearheaded the abortion law reform bill as it was then? Well, it was interesting because the Attorney General was supposed to be, uh, Rob Hulls, was supposed to be spearheading it, uh, but of course he ended up voting against it. Uh, ended up voting against his own bill and left it to the Health Minister, uh, who very enthusiastically prosecuted it. And of course that Health Minister was a bloke called Daniel Andrews. Uh, who, who now is still very, very strongly uh, supportive of, of abortion uh, on demand until birth. Uh, and uh, I think he's just a, a despicable human being. Uh, I, I really, you know, some of his comments um, earlier this week about him uh, being a great Catholic and all that sort of thing uh, is just, um, just non nonsense when you look at what he says and what he does. Well, you're a Catholic. Uh, Daniel Andrews is trying to basically rewrite the Catholic catechism this week. Well, he, he has tried to do that. Um, you know, you, you can't... Uh, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're a Catholic, you're supposed to believe in Catholicism, I would have thought. But uh, he, uh, he he doesn't. He doesn't. You know, you, you've got to look at his deeds. Uh, and, and what he does, what he says, are two totally different things. Mind you, not just on this issue, but on a whole range of issues. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I, I think it's just, uh, just disgraceful that um, uh, he has uh, uh, brought... Um, I, 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 think, I think he's brought the... Uh, the church into disrepute, the Catholic Church into disrepute, um, by claiming to be to, by claiming to be a Catholic. Well, we might leave it there, Bernie, because you've got to get back to making sure every run, anything runs smoothly and that there's no trouble from the counter protesters up there on the steps of of Parliament House. So, thank you for talking uh, with me again. No, a, a very great pleasure. Not not a problem at all.